Right now, one in six children in BC live in poverty in a province that is extremely wealthy, and that's not justice. Poverty impacts different people in different communities in different ways. It's essentially a lack of essential goods, resources, things you need to live your life well and have a dignified life. And I think it says a lot about our society that we live in somewhere that is a wealthy province and yet not everybody has enough money to put food on the table. To come together to change those social norms, to make sure that everyone in, in our society is well taken care of, I think that's a reflection of who we are as individuals. It comes down to treating people with dignity and recognizing everyone's humanity. The BC Poverty Reduction Coalition is a coalition of over 80 organizations across British Columbia who've come together to advocate for public policy solutions to ending poverty, inequity, and also homelessness across BC. So it's a whole group of different organizations who've come together with shared common goals. The coalition is guided by a framework of human rights, as well as systemic advocacy goals that tackle different issues related to poverty from a collective standpoint. I was there at the very beginning of the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition. So I was a graduate student and I got to work on a project with the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives. They had all this great research from migrant workers, from people on welfare, and it became a poverty reduction plan for BC. I found out about the work of the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition, which eventually led to Climate Justice UBC joining the coalition. I think that coalition building as a whole is really important because you get to meet a whole bunch of people working across different issues in different sectors and it speaks to the interconnectedness of the work that we're doing when justice and care are at its core. And together we're able to bring a bunch of skills and a diversity of knowledge to the table and co-create these more liberatory futures that are dignified and caring and justice-centered for everyone. We thought that it was important to become part of a larger ecosystem of people who are doing this work and to join forces and really build our collective capacity in responding to these converging crises. When we think about public health and poverty reduction coalition, I think health is at the intersection of that. By looking at poverty from the roots and, may, and being able to make sure and advocate for health equity and social justice, we are able to build upon that and make sure that all British Columbians are well. So, Public health and poverty reduction, I think those really go hand in hand. We help the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition by being the eyes and the ears on the ground and uh, sharing the data and the trends on what's happening. We see the trends, we see how things are shifting, we provide information to you where you have the ability to organize the information in, into a policy briefing. Poverty Reduction Coalition, it's great strength. It takes an upstream approach to the issues of poverty. If we're not actually tackling the root causes of poverty and going upstream, then we're not gonna get anywhere. And the Poverty Reduction Coalition is that voice that goes upstream and really provides that systemic change. When we kind of all come together and build this collective power, we are stronger and we create that united front that allows us to achieve bigger wins and have greater impact and ensure that we're not leaving people behind in this fight for a better world. You've got lots of groups that provide services to people in poverty, but the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition is that umbrella group that brings all of them together. And there's no other group like it in the province that brings everyone together around a shared goal which is to tackle poverty in BC through all the elements of a poverty reduction plan. The really good news about the work that we do is that poverty is a solvable issue. We know there are public policy solutions that can help support people with economic justice. We know there are research-based great suggestions and ideas out there that can make people's material lives better very quickly. And so the next steps are really about bringing in the key stakeholders that we need, generating and building momentum so that we can organize people to be paying attention to the politics that are happening and, and lobbying their local politicians to make sure that these policies are being enacted. And then I think also importantly, continuing to communicate a vision of what BC could look like without poverty and how we can get there. I think about the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition and how it's so amazing to see all these different organizations with different priorities and different goals all coming together because we can all unify under a single vision. That to me is really empowering. Uh, there's something to be said about the collective and we need the collective to being able to make these large systems, uh, system scale change. When we begin to think about those around us as extensions of ourselves and what we need to do as a society, 
Joining the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition is a really great way of building community cohesion and finding out about all the different wonderful work that's being done across sectors, across different justice-centered issues. Even if you maybe don't think of the nature of your organization or your personal work as something that's inherently connected to economic justice, it very much is because, as we know, all systems of oppression are connected and, as such, all of our responses to it must also be connected.